Welcome, Mark. Thanks so much for coming. I'm looking forward to this panel. Could you tell me a little bit about what you do in your business? Yeah, so my name's Mark Denzen. Uh, my company is called CVMS, which is Crypto Value Management System. We created a, a compliant banking solution from C to sale process all, all the way to the B2B cash problem that, that is handled today. Right now, banking is a big issue in the industry, yes. and, and we really want to help you know, legitimize a legal business, and that's really our goal from our business. And so is there any innovative things that you're doing around that? I mean, I just find the, that you've used the word crypto in that business name, and, I, and obviously everyone's just gone a bit crazy lately about that. Yeah, we are actually utilizing two technologies that one's been around for about four years, and that's, that's verifying all the anti-money laundering, fin, FinCEN requirements, making sure that the banking process is handled correctly. Well, we take that and we now import that information into a blockchain. Okay, that blockchain is now going to store that data that can't ever be altered. Okay, so for each transaction that we do, it's going to be recorded in blockchain and never can be altered. So when a government wants to review our books or our transactions, we can, or our own accountants can go look at that. And so really that's going to help us change the way we can securely uh, transport cash, which is right now it's done by uh, Brinks and Loomis, Armored Car Services, <laughs> hired guns, you know, or the trunk of my car. Yes, I know. I and, know. and so now we're going to be able to digitally take that representation of that cash and transfer it between each other and do it in a safe and compliant way. Fabulous. And are you going to be um, using cryptocurrency as well? Yeah, so we have our own token. It's, it's called ICE, which is In-State Crypto Commodity Exchange. So our token isn't a speculative token. It's you give me one dollar, I give you one token. The value of that dollar per federal requirements won't go up or go down based on like that dollar's backed in, in our vaults with our bank. So that, that, that token that you have, that ICE token, you're going to give it to someone else that's going to be, this is just B2B space, you're going to give it to someone else, that's going to be worth a dollar. So when they want to cash it in, it's still worth a dollar. And so that way we can transport that, that dollar value from one place to another without having the speculation that's usually attributed to Bitcoin or Ethereum type of tokens. Yeah. So we're, we're considered a utility token, and we're working closely with, uh, with L.A. County government there in order to help pay taxes, do payroll, enjoy you know, energy payments, you know, working with SoCal Edison, which is PG&E as well, up, in, up northern here. And so it's a big deal for us in order to help those folks take in not cash, because cash is a big problem for even a legitimate business like the power company or the, or the government itself. And so tell me, where do you think it, the marijuana cannabis industry is heading as far as the future? I mean, I, I would imagine it must be looking bright, is it? It's amazing. I mean, it really is. And you can see where the, the level of professionalism is there. Uh, you know, you're going to get institutional money going to start coming in. I mean, this is going to be one of the hottest industries that's been around for more than a decade, for sure. You know, being able to see the growth of this from, uh, again, a financial perspective, um, usage is is gone up, but it's people realize the health benefits more. CBDs are, are going to be a huge factor in the future. Uh, CBDs is going to really change a lot of what medicine is right now, and, and that's that's where we put a lot of our effort into. So I wonder how the health insurance companies are going to like um, this part of it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, CBDs, I, I, I've seen some pretty amazing stuff. Oh, okay. I mean, I, it's really, I got some great stories we can talk about. Oh, okay. But it's but it's medicine. Yes, it is course. true medicine. And, and what we need to do is make sure it's regulated. Yeah. Right? We just got to make sure it's regulated so you know exactly what you're going to get. Right. You know, the consistency has always been a problem, especially when it was, when it was illegal. Right. Now it's a legal business, and now we can regulate it and ensure that the end user gets exactly what they thought they were going to get. Great. And um, tell me if you want to answer this, but uh, how are you going to go about um, with your token if it, when they're saying, the SEC is saying that only security tokens are going to be valid? D have you got a way of working with that? Yeah, we already have a letter of confidence from our attorney and the SEC's Great. approved what we're doing. Oh. We have our money transfer license in California. This is our first stop. Oh. And so each one of our companies in, in each state is completely separate because I can't transfer money from one state to another. We can't cross state lines still, right? Yeah. That's, that's per federal regulation. So each one of our companies will be in each individual state, and we've already been approved, and it's already been a product out there. So. Well, congratulations. I'm so pleased and uh, really looking forward to this panel. I think it'll be so fascinating. I, I love the sort of pioneering quality of this uh, now that it's legal. Entrepreneurs are here and they've put a lot of effort in this space and you're going to really see the, the professionalism just keep increasing.
I look forward to it. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Carol.